Not a bad place, Eivor. Not at all. Can I help you with anything? Sigurd wants your forge up and running as soon as possible. For that, we need supplies and riches. Ah, you mean to go a Viking then? Good, good. How I miss those days. Ransacking and pillaging. Blade singing and shield splintering. <laughs> I would ask you to join us, but you are the only blacksmith we have. We cannot afford your loss. Oh, it's no bother. Better I forge axes than swing them. My place is here, not pulling on the oar of a river horse. <laughs> Though you do remind me, I found a map among the bandits' rubbish, marked up with the locations of Saxon monk huts. Yes. Bandits know as well as we do. Monasteries are full of riches and loot. Take the map with you. And put it to better use than they did. And listen all. For the good of our clan, it is time we go a Viking. Today we raid, that tomorrow we may build. At last! We will crack these Christian monasteries like a row of hen's eggs! The Saxons know we are here, Doc. The monasteries will be well guarded. Ah! By nothing more than priests and prayers, I'd wager. What's wrong with you? We need an epic tale. Unar the Ugly was an excellent sailor who could pilot a longship entirely on his own. This is why King Sigvaldi kept him around. In all other matters, Unar was a cruel, anxious, and humorless man. He was one of the most unlikable people I have ever known. One year, I recall we had invited some carls from the Ingling clan to dine with us. As we were serving ale, we came to find that we had none left. It so happened that the ale had run out just before reaching Unar's hall. This raised in him a word storm, and he accused Sigvaldi of treachery. Every man in the longhouse jeered at Unar for raising such a fuss. This made Unar angrier than before, and he stormed out. A short time later, we heard him yelling through the door of the hall. I set this scorn pole upon the men of England! Hush now. Und 
too, brother. Don't grant me strength. Just guide my blows. Try to trip the moon. Places are mine. I stand ready. Only say the word. All ashore! Take what you can and be swift about it. We slay every last man and take all the time we need. Should we be so lucky? Find what they hide and take it. And kill those guards! Thanks. <laughs> the ball of death descends upon you! 
Don't fall for any traps. Ha. <clears throat> Come here! Come here a moment. That is all we need for Gunner. But if there's more, we should claim it. work from all of you. We should return home and unload everything. Are you certain there aren't a few more gold nuggets squirreled away somewhere? My gut tells me no. So, Eivor, 
What's your count? My count? Dag, I've no need to count my kills. They number too many. Likely story, Wolfkist. Me? I killed 26, I think. Ah, there were barely a dozen when we arrived, Dog. No, oh, no, you missed them. They attacked from the forest. so soon. This is wonderful, Aver. A forge bigger and harder than my old forge back in Vornberg. Come visit me any time. For weapons and gear, there is no man better than me. I will, Gunnar. Have no doubt. Aver, what brings you to my humble shop? May I see your stores? You have a keen eye for quality. Ready for battle. Can you remind me what you do here? If you need weapons and armor enhanced or adorned, that's what I'm here for. I'm off. Be well, friend. Until next we meet. Fine day, Eivor. The Saxons break their kingdoms into smaller territories called shires. This one is called Lenchestershire. Eivor! In here! What will you keep in this room? My finest weapon. For this room is yours. Here you may lay your head, hang your axe, or be alone with your thoughts. Do you like it? It suits me well. But I would be just as happy lodging with the raiders on that wharf. I need no special treatment. This is not special treatment. I want you here in the longhouse, close at hand. I may be the Jarl of this clan, but you and I lead together, as ever. So get acquainted with your room, and when you're ready, meet me at the stables. A bed better than many I've slept in, and a good place to recover. A letterbox for messages and requests. Hmm. Hmm. Not much, but it is mine.
moment's notice. Count on it, my friend. The path ahead is bright. With glory at its end. Farewell, Eivor. But, but why now? Dark, please. This must be done. Yes, and I can help. Look at me. Look at these arms. What was that about? Is Basim leaving us already? Sigurd means to leave as well. Is that true? We know the sons of Ragnar have camped in the north. It would do us well to pay them a visit, to strengthen our ties to this land. Is that where Basim has gone? Basim's motives are his own. Leave it at that. We have more pressing plans. I am riding to Lerichestershire, to a town called Repton. Eivor, I expect you to join me when you have finished here. I can come now. I only need a horse. Not yet. First speak with Randvi. She has more than one task for you here. Apart from growing this settlement, you must seek out alliances as well. We cannot pacify England with so few friends. Then I must join you, Sigurd, for I am a fitter companion on long roads. No, Dag. You belong here with the raiders, and you will act as Eivor commands. Ride in safety, brother. I will follow as soon as I can. Yes, and I will keep our raiders sharp. <laughs> Do as Eivor commands. Is he testing me? He may be. Sigurd is a wise man. I would sooner take orders from a louse. My stable is a bit spared just now, but if you...